like the, the A minor. So it goes one, two, three, four. Shift your right hand, okay, over a string. And then shift your right hand back. Most important thing is try to use all your fingers. That that's a little bit harder for people to get used to these all the fingers playing. But hanging your hand down and letting it relax, and eventually you won't even have to look at it. Okay. When you play the D minor, also you're going to shift your right hand over here to uh, the start at the D string, just like you do for the F. Does that make sense? Okay. I think that's nice enough. But let's try this. Now this is gonna sound like trash, I think, because it's gonna be hard for me to follow her time, but you'll get the idea. So let me just kind of show you what I was doing there because it's like, well, how do we do that G? What I'm doing is like F, okay, like we're normally doing, C, like we're normally doing, but then what I do for the G, I keep these fingers in the same place I do for the, for the C, but I just switch my thumb, okay, to go over there and catch that G bass. So I'm not hitting the A string. There's nothing touching the A string. Okay, and then A minor. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now right now that's going to sound kind of like disjointed where it's like... in it as you get more comfortable to like connect everything together so it kind of flows and I, that song really needs an arpeggio and it needs a lot of practice like you really need to go over that a lot and because and, uh, you'll you'll actually help keep the time of the song and everything 